India's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has invited Indian manufacturers to produce and test its new 1500 HP diesel engine, CV-1500A, developed for main battle tanks under the Future Ready Combat Vehicle, or FRCV program. The engine features advanced common rail direct injection fuel systems, modular T-configuration design, and high durability for varied terrains. CVRD will share complete blueprints for 10 prototype engines, emphasizing full indigenization to reduce imports. This initiative marks a major push toward Atmanurbar Bharat in next-generation armored warfare technology. India's third and fourth nuclear ballistic missile submarines, INS Aritaman or S-4, and yet to be named S-4 Star, are nearing completion under the Secret of Advanced Technology Vessel Project, with inductions expected between 2026 to 2027. Built with 75% indigenous content, both feature enhanced stealth stretched hulls and upgraded 83 megawatts reactors, capable of carrying K-15 and K-4 missiles. Lessons from S-4's trials helped accelerate S-4 Star's progress, marking a major leap in India's underwater nuclear deterrence and reinforcing its credible second strike capability in the Indo-Pacific. Russia has agreed to transfer crucial technology to an Indian private company for local production of S-400 air defense missiles, boosting the IF self-reliance and defense reach. The new $4 to $5 billion deal includes five squadrons, three delivered from Russia, and two made in India by 2028. This move will localize missile and radar systems, reduce import dependency, and establish an MRO hub in Hyderabad strengthening India's defenses against threats from Pakistan and China. Greek defense outlet Pentapostagma has urged Athens to deepen military ties with India, praising DRDO's upcoming Vunny hypersonic missile, capable of speeds over Mach 5 to 6 as a game-changer. The article calls for the urgent purchase of BrahMos missiles to strengthen Greece's defense against Turkey highlighting India's rapid tech advances and shared geopolitical challenges. It envisions joint ventures, co-production deals, and trade corridors positioning Greece as a key European partner in India's expanding defense and economic network. The U.S. sale of AIM-120 C-8 missiles to Pakistan strengthens PAF F-16s with Mach 4 speed, 160 km BVR reach, and a 50 to 60 km no escape zone, narrowing the long range gap with India. But the IF fields Astra Mk1, with a range of 110 to 120 km, the Ramjet Astra Mk2, with a range of up to 160 km by 2026, and the Meteor with over 200 km range on Rafales, along with the AWACS, S400s, and layered SEAD. Jamming PAF datalinks with indigenous pods could blunt this. C8s enable saturation tactics, yet India's mix of missiles and systems preserves an edge. India and Russia are close to finalizing a $1.5 billion deal for the R-37M long-range air-to-air missile for the IF Su-30 MKI jets. With a 200 km range, Mach 6 speed, and a 60 kg warhead, the missile can destroy enemy fighters, AWACS, and tankers before they strike. The pact includes local production under Make in India. Deliveries from 2027 will strengthen India's air dominance against Pakistan's and China's long-range missile threats. HAL and Israel's II are working to integrate the Icebreaker Air Launch Cruise missile onto India's Tejas Mk-1A jets, giving them a 300 km precision strike capability. The stealthy, AI-guided missile will let Tejas hit targets beyond enemy radar range, strengthening India's standoff attack power. Alongside the Rampage missile, proven in Operation Sindhor, the integration, expected by 2027, marks a major Indo-Israeli push, to boost IF strike reach and defense industry collaboration.
IF Chief Air Chief Marshal A.P. Singh announced that 75% of India's Su-30 MKI fleet, about 200 jets, will receive a major Super Sukhoi upgrade, starting with 84 aircraft. The modernization will include DRDO's Advanced Virupaksh Gallium Nitride ASA radar, AI-assisted digital cockpit, new avionics, upgraded jammers, and improved flight control systems, making the aircraft as capable as 4.7 generation fighters. With 70 to 80 percent indigenous components, the program aims to extend service life beyond 2050 and enable seamless teamwork with future platforms like AMCA, ensuring India's air dominance against threats like China's J-20. Dassault Aviation has proposed supplying 114 Rafale jets to the Indian Air Force with 60% indigenous content and local assembly in Nagpur under the MRFA program. The plan includes setting up a production line at the MiG-29 facility, delivering the first jet within three years and completing all by year six. The fleet will start with F4.1 variants and later upgrade to F5 models featuring advanced engines and drone teaming. However, Dassault's reluctance to share radar source codes may limit India's autonomy. The $20 billion deal aims to boost IF strength and India's aerospace self-reliance. A senior IF officer revealed plans for a powerful operational partnership between the fifth-generation AMCA and the 4.5-generation Tejas MK2, calling them a deadly pair for future air superiority. The stealthy AMCA will lead in destroying enemy radar and air defenses, clearing the way for the Tejas MK2 to launch massive beyond-visual-range missile strikes. The MK2, capable of carrying up to eight Astra missiles, will replace older Mirage 2000 and MiG-29 jets. Alongside the Tejas MK-1A handling border defense, this trio will form the backbone of India's next-generation air combat strategy. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.